Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Head shave and face shave today. It's been a oh God, four or five days I think on the head, as you can see. I'm gonna take the majority off with a DE razor being the car aluminium, and then I'm gonna finish off with the head blade today. The soap of choice is this. Winwood, come on, focus. There we go, Winwood, nope, from Lather Bros. Sandalwood, pineapple, and fennel. Now, I love the label. I think the label's superb. There is your ingredients list in there as well, if you want to have a read. I absolutely love the label. Four ounces of salt. And this scent for me, now, I, I can't actually say I've had a bad scent from Lather Bros. The Flora Colossus is probably the, uh, the weakest scent, but I still really enjoyed it. The Lavender and Pear. This one, it's just, it's, a, it's quite gourmand, it's sweet. It's woodsy, it's herbal, it's really, really nice. Not herbal, herbal. Oh, I smell the fennel, it's almost like a licorice type scent. It's got that, I mean, I'm not a fan of sandalwood, but the sandalwood with the pineapple and the fennel smells really nice. Three simple notes that smell great together. I do like the tubs are sort of, they're all right, the plastic. I'm not sure whether these are from recycled plastic or what the deal is with them. But I would like to see some artisans out there really go the full, full way and start using some sugar cane made plastic. I don't know, but going down that route. The brush of choice for my head and face shave today is my next one in the rotation, which is a 24mm Black Wolf Bald Knot. And this is my Wolf Whiskers Blueberry Pie Colour Scheme. Made by Peter Wolf over in America. Now this one was a trade, this is the first ever wolf whiskers that I got and it was the first real quality synthetic brush that I got. And the knot in this is absolutely beautiful, it's pretty much identical to the Tuxedo Knot from AP Shave Co. But branded differently, really that's about the only thing I can see. I think they're both made in China or wherever, somewhere in Asia. And then sent to the respective users or sellers. So as you can see once you get a bit of water in there it all sort of gels out. Like so. And the soap, soap, brush, brush, soap, as old Flash Bowden would say. It's nice to see him still commenting on the videos. I was going to actually do, similar to what Jack does over at the virtual groom room, where he does his load off camera and loading his brush doesn't like go and blow his load off camera and then come back, you know what I mean? I know there's a lot of filthy mangy folks out there. The watch for today <laughs> is my Christmas present from the wife, the Galaxy Watch. I've got my daughter ringing, let me see if this will ring and stay on the camera. Okay, I'm back. I thought I might be able to answer the phone call while I was on the video. But obviously not, I just cut it off, well I think it cut it off, I'm not sure. Right, so I'm just going to dip the tips and just go back and load just a little bit more, just for the sake of it. Same strength on this. It's a good five, maybe even a six. It's got great scent strength. It loads really easy. You don't need loads of it. I just load heavy. So that's what I'm going to use for the head shave. I may even just stick to the same amount of load and just add a little bit more for my face shave. But I'm just going to wet my head now. It's a cold water shave. The cold water for the head and the face shave today. I'm just going to scoop out much of the excess as I can. There's not a lot of excess in here, believe it or not. Well, that didn't really do much at all. It's, there's not much left in the tub, but the brush is chock-a-block. So let's start painting this on. Sorting my mirror out over there so I can see the back of my head as I'm painting this on. So I don't really miss anything. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is just splay the brush a little bit so that I get sort of all the fibres open back up like so. And then I just get some water and drop them in like that. 
I call this the Michael Friedberg. I've noticed that Andy Northern Shaver uses this as well. I'm not sure whether he got that from Friedberg or whether that was his own sort of way of doing it in the beginning. I'm not sure. But the first person I really watched and saw doing it was Michael Friedberg. He's been going for quite a long time on his channel. Sort of different approach to myself and, and several YouTubers out there. He sort of gets to know a soap, he'll use it for a week, get an idea how it works, use it with different brushes, use it with different razors and things, I think. And then and then he does a video on it and gives you a more in-depth review of it, lets you know how it's went from start to finish. I'm more of a use it when you get it sort of guy on camera so that you see how it works straight away for someone that's never used it before. Albeit I can lather and, and do some things that maybe beginners can't do. People are just trying to learn how to do it. It's not a, it's not as easy as it looks sometimes, especially the shaving pot. Creating a lather really, if you follow the way that I sort of do it, with loading heavy and dropping water in, not so much in the head, more so in the face. As you'll see in my next shave when I paint it on, get it translucent, and then add, add water until it gets translucent. And then really there's not much more to do. You might have to add a little bit more water but not much. Now when I've got this amount of growth on my head, I actually struggle to get a really voluminous lather. I don't know what it is, it seems to be some sort of thing. It's the same when I do a face shave. It's almost like the hair stops you from getting that nice voluminous lather. Now this actually probably needs a bit more water, so I'm just going to add it. I'll just leave it there. It doesn't look like there's much in there, but I can assure you there's way more than what you really need. Right, getting stuck into the resin. The aluminium carve. This is all aluminium this time. So I've got the, the red aluminium base plate, aluminium handle, aluminium top cap. And inside I've got a third use perma sharp vintage blade kindly given to me gifted to me from Kevy Shaves when I met up with him at the Gentleman's Groom Room back in July. And here we go. So this will be with the grain and then I'm going to finish off the full head shave with the head blade moto. And you can really see, hopefully, see the density of that lather, see the gloss on it as well. Hopefully cold water, quick rinse, spotless. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of lighter razors. And I have to say, one thing I've noticed with this as well, it holds a lather better, in my opinion. I don't know why, than the brass and the stainless. It just seems to hold on to it a bit more. This is thick lather though, so that's part of it. Right, there you go. No, no, I was just going to say it's clogged it, but it hasn't. <laughs> on this part here, I just go against the grain straight away because for some reason whenever I go with the grain behind my ear, ear I end up nicking myself when like it's like a bit of bone that sticks out of the skin so it's just uh, something I've learned along the way that works for me so it's not something that will work for everyone you might just get away with going with the grain down there these are great blades these First time I used it, I wasn't sold on it. I thought it was pretty average the first time. You can really see that. Wow, look at that ladder. How dense is that? Ladder bros is made out of, I think it's Miami, Florida, from memory. Don't quote me on that. Made by Andre. I believe he's. He's aided with his, his wife, Stephanie. Steph, I think it's Steph. Really nice couple. 
Andre is a Manchester United fan as well, which is a big, 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 big bonus for me. And he did very, very kindly make me a, a soap for the channel called Devils on the Field. If you haven't seen that, it's a sweet scented grass soap, basically to sort of mimic being at Old Trafford. And it's got the Man United label on it. They sent me over the palm as well. Just really nice people. And look, of course, I'm sure he's had quite a good bit of business <laughs> from my use, using of his soaps and his products. But that's what it's all about. Sometimes these companies don't get noticed much until they get on YouTube or until they get onto a, a forum. And it's dog eat dog world, really. You've got, you got to make a good product. The difference being with me and a lot of different channels is if something's shit, I just say it's shit. Luckily, pretty much everything I'm using at the moment isn't shit. So I'm not having to, having to say it. I'm not hurting people's feelings. I'm not making people's businesses look crap because their products are up to scratch. And yes, it's there's nothing worse than making a product and someone saying it's not very good or whatever. I would hate to be in that position. I've been in that position maliciously before in my business where People have said that we haven't done a good job, but in actual fact we have done a good job and they're just taking a piss of and made a mess, they just don't want to pay the bill. The real estate companies are the worst for it. The difference being is we know we don't do a shit job. Right, just filling the sink back up, just add a little bit of water in my head. The residual slickness is excellent. Very good. I mean it's not. It's not mature low fat slickness, that, that's for sure, which for me is pretty much the slickest soap on the market. No, I say now, it has been probably since the day it was made, I'm quite amazed. Just check my watch again. Oh, so there we go. So that's Andy and Northern Shave, I would show you. God, that hurts doing that. I'll try and get it as close as I can without hurt my arm. So I've got my Samsung Galaxy watch, it'll be the same watch every day, <laughs> except I can change the face on the one watch. It's probably not as nice. Well, it isn't as nice as a real watch, but... I do like smart watches. I did have the, the Apple Watch before, but obviously having switched from Apple to Samsung now, I made the leap over with all the technology. So this is my Christmas gift for my wife. And I absolutely love it. The great thing with the Samsung Galaxy Watch is the battery life is incredible compared to the Apple Watch. Apple Watch, every day had to charge it, without fail. Probably not so much now because I don't have all my notifications turned off and all my apps now, so I don't. If you send my message on Messenger, don't expect to get a reply like straight away. Only The only time you'll get a reply is when I actually open the app up and read the messages. So it's not all day that I do that, obviously. It was taking over my life for a while. It's social media and YouTube and Instagram, everything, I was spending far too much time on my phone, and I'm not now. I'm spending way more time with the family. My phone, generally when I'm at home now, is either on this mirror or on charge, unless it rings and I have to answer it for a, for a, for a job or anything like that. But at the moment, my business partner's still doing all the work. Still can't drive. That's the killer, that really is the killer. If you've ever been to Australia, you probably know it's probably not too dissimilar to America, some other, some other countries. You, there's just, the gap between places is enormous. Now the major city over here is Perth. It's, a, it's an hour's drive for me by car. The only way I can get to it at the moment, without being driven there, is by a bus to the train station, then a train up, which then you're relying on the public transport, which is who I work for. I work for the Public Transport Authority. And to be fair, we've probably got one of the best public transport networks on earth. And that's not a word of a lie. We really do have one of the best transport networks. The buses aren't the best. Sometimes they run a little bit off, but our train network is, is exceptional. The trains themselves are exceptional, they're cleaned every single day. 
I think even the pricing, when you compare it to the rest of the world, is night and day. The pricing over here to get to where you want to go. So on a, my dad's over at the moment, helping out, just driving me places and helping me out. So mainly on a weekend, we'll go out, we'll take the kids out. We might, might go to Perth, or we'll go somewhere, we might go to a Perth Glory game. Or, you know, we'll go out and spend the day together. And in doing so, we'll grab the train. And part of that, the great thing with that is, this razor's not rinsing out very well with the cold water. So with the train on a Saturday and Sunday and on school holidays and public holidays and things, you have a thing that's called a family rider. If you live in Western Australia and you use public transport, you'll know what I'm talking about. But what a family rider entitles you to is two full paying adults, 18 plus, or I suppose two full paying people. I think it's generally from sort of 16 plus, but 18 plus we'll say. And five concessions. A concession is children, and senior citizens, pensioners, and all that sort of thing. So it costs you $13.80, and that allows you to travel on the trains, buses, and the ferry up in Perth, which takes you across to the other side of Perth on the boat. It allows you to travel on them all day for $13.80, anywhere you want, up until the very last train, bus, and ferry is run. And as far as I'm concerned, there's nowhere in the world offers a service like that for that price. 13 Australian dollars. So you're looking about eight or nine American to travel on buses, trains and ferries in the whole state on public transport for that price. And I think that's, I mean, certainly it's unheard of in the UK. You can't travel in the UK on a train or a bus for that sort of money. And WA is a big place. You know, to get the bus, to, to get the bus from here to Perth, um, including the train and everything, you're looking at a round trip to get the bus and get the train about an hour and a half. So it's a fair old trek, you know, it's very similar to sort of going from Edinburgh to Glasgow on the train. Right, I'm just going to rinse off. There we go. Someone say BBS? Oh yes. Superb. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab. I use this for just trimming dry here, the Gillette sensor. Cheap shit razor, really is. Cheap old school cartridges. Little two blades, this one's way, way long overdue replacement. I just wet it and I just use this to catch all the hair. It comes up above my t shirt. I normally do that off camera, but I thought I would just do it on the camera today. And that's me. Post shave is absolutely top notch. The, the soap is excellent. I don't get any reaction to Lana Bros, which is great. So far, I can't say never, but so far, nothing. All of the balms include a bit of menthol, I think. I don't think they do unmenthol, they may do, I'm not sure. The scent on this balm is identical to the soap but it's stronger and it really lasts. I've just rinsed that soap out, I don't know why, because I'm going to be re-lathering again in the next shave. But, Winwood from Lather Bros. Sandalwood Pineapple Fennel, super scent. Great performance, easy to lather, easy to work with. It really is great stuff made by great people. And I love the labels, everything's really popping, it pops off the picture, brilliant. And they do a lot of DC and Marvel and superhero stuff as well. The razor for the first pass, was the Carl Christopher Bradley razor. Come on, focus. And aluminium. Come on. There we go. I followed up with the head blade motor in plastic, which pretty much the best head shaving tool I've ever used. I've used some good 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 razors, good cartridges, but I still prefer that overall for the feel and being able to just go like that nice and quick. I think the skin guard still is a better shaver, but it's just really nice to use. And then I used the Gillette Sensor XL, the latest model, the cheap shit model. Really light, crappy plastic to finish off the bottom of my neck. And the brush for today for the head shave and the bobby for the face shave was my Wolf Whiskers 
Odyssey shaped handle with the Blueberry Pie colour scheme and a 24mm black quilt knot. Just exceptional, really, really good stuff. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys. Put the face shave. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.